Hey guys, Crew Blind My Back, I'm Rick. Eric! Aaron. I'm coming! We are here with Mortal Kombat. We so it begins! We introduced ourselves wrong. We should have been like, Rick. Eric. He's right, let's do it again. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing it again. Mortal Kombat. We have watched two Mortal Kombat movies two. in the last, like, month and a half. Yeah, one's Fine. actually still on early access right now. Thank yes. You. The other one, Mortal Kombat from 1995, is out. On YouTube, so. I, Annihilation is on early access right now, but we're watching this on HBO Max live, baby. This is a new Mortal Kombat movie. Dude, I'm, I'm really excited. The trailer looked pretty good. Yeah. The the music they had in the trailer was good. I've heard like the newer theme they have. Me too. But yeah, they didn't even use it in the trailer. Yep. So I, I really wonder what they'll do with some of the the music and we'll stuff. See. And I hope that there's I hope that song's in there. But I feel weird. Why? I don't know. It's gonna be weird because like when I started watching I'm the last Mortal Kombat, I'm like turn, I'm like turn my head off and just enjoy it. But the trailer of this makes me feel like maybe I shouldn't turn my head off. Sure. But I'm about to hit the turn off my head switch. You have, you have up on should like, I or shouldn't I? The 30 year anniversary of that movie. Yeah. I don't feel like video game movies have progressed very much since then. So maybe this one will be the one. Like should maybe. I turn my switch? This half of the room should turn off their brain. Okay. This half of the room will leave their brain on so, as much as the first Mortal Kombat one, like. I, I get what you mean. Like it was about fighting, the story. Like it was a lot of this stuff was important. What was important yep. was there. Annihilation didn't do great. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> oh, um, it was so good. But we did have like the there was like a YouTube mini series, which was very interesting. Yeah. I like I like some of the stuff they did there. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard that the uh, Scorpion animated film is quite good. The Scorpion's mm -hmm. Revenge. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. I so maybe, maybe we'll hit up that at some point. But we've got some recommendations from Patreon. What they yeah. had in the trailer here, like I'm wondering, like how grounded is it gonna be? How mystical, magical is it gonna be? Yeah. Like well, well, we Mortal saw Kombat a story. dragon made of fire. Got great. Like with Mortal Kombat 9? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a solid story. We should say sure. that Rick and Aaron uh, probably know the lore way more than me and Calvin. Oh, yeah. Me and Calvin know the lore the exact same amount now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know some of the names. Both of these. He did correct you on Nightwolf. Mm. <laughs> Nighthawk's so good. Because um, I heard it five minutes prior. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do. Uh, like, uh, Sub Zero's one of my favorites. Liu Kang's one of my favorites. Yep. It's going to be weird having those guys being different people. Because sure, Liu sure. Kang, to me, is... Perfect already. Yep. That one guy, I can't think of his name, but he was Liu Kang in those two movies. No! Johnny Cage, for me, is... No. Oh. Well, at least the first one. Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where you fall down. Like, that was a good Johnny Cage, you know? But are we going to get Johnny Cage in this? I don't mm -hmm. I don't know. I would accept Jean-Claude Van Damme. We also have... Uh, like, I feel, like, so much really? about those like, original actors. I want to be like Shane. So, like, they are mine. Forever! Yeah. You know? Um, I don't want new ones. But I'm also worried, like, uh -huh. there was a Cole that we saw in the trailer. Cole. Yeah, I don't know sure. if we're going to have kind of like a Resident Evil thing where there's a new character introduced. Yeah. I don't know if that's going to be an origin for some character we already know, maybe. Uh -huh. In the games, I um, feel like they've been trying to introduce new characters forever, and they none of them ever land ever. No, hey, I get what you mean. This is the part where hey, they fall uh, down. Uh, uh, Bo Raichu? Bo Raichu. Bo Raichu. Bo Raichu was pretty cool. Okay? He was pretty cool. Right. Um, there's that blind guy, I can't think of what his on. name was. It started with an H. I think you're up. proving but a your blind own guy? point. <laughs> but no, like, there's, yeah, I mean, there's some interesting characters they tried. At. Fuji. Fuji was kind of cool. I like the water. So, not, no, the. Anyway, guys, we're going to be watching Mortal Kombat, the movie. There's also going to be a full length version, which you can find down in the description below. We'll link you over to our Patreon. Uh, we offer that for all of the movies we do, the shows we do, and everything, too. But here on YouTube, you'll be getting the highlighted version of Mortal Kombat. Where are we watching this? We're watching this on HBO Max, yeah. where it is, for at least 30 days or something. I forget exactly how they do it. But it's also in theaters, too, so you can go there, I guess. Look, it has begun. <laughs> it's going to start with the same opening the other two movies Oh, I did. hope so. I'm going to hate it if it doesn't. Sit him done. That was a great catch. Ah. Oh. Is that a brand? Or, or is it birth, like a birthmark, like an annihilation? It looks like a scar. So they can travel between worlds? Whatever. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, God. I'm not having fun yet. That's sobering. No, you need that to defeat him. It's the element that brings life. Good, he needs the vent. 
<laughs> oh! Nice. He cut off his arm? Good. Yeah, sure did. Jeez, there is some blood. Bless you. Oh, bless you. Rick, as you sneeze, men die. <laughs> oh, I can't stop. <laughs> Too many close-ups on that thing not to be used. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck Fatality! <laughs> Rick! I can't stop! You're killing them! <laughs> oh, that was cool. Get over! Oh. <laughs> I love that, like him oh, there. <laughs> Quit cutting so much, they're so good. Shit, damn ice, man. So close to winning that too. Yeah. Ooh, Outworld. I'm excited to see Outworld. Whoa, it looks too real. Oh my god. There's skyboxes. Where's the digital gravel? The fuck is this? Go now and kill Earth Realm's champions. So he's like assassinating the the champions. Yeah. Before they have a chance to fight. Cole Young, <laughs> the man that took the bell from Eddie Tobias. Yeah, that was a long time. Tobias. Have we met? No. That's one of the creators of Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and Eddie, Ed. Eddie Tobias, yeah. <laughs> Ed Boone. Well, ain't that something? Nice chat with you. I have the same mark on my board. That's <laughs> <sighs> uh, the day after tomorrow. Oh, the ketchup! <laughs> oh Jesus. Good fight. Damn. Blade. I got him. Ah, Blade. Blade. We can take him out together. You want your family on a fucking slab in the morgue? Now get out of here. <laughs> oh, that is so fucking cool. Really cool. <laughs> so damn cool. Oh man, he shattered the gun. Done six tours, motherfucker. Oh, oh. He's lived six centuries, motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Uh. by following the rules. Check it out. Let's, let's oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh. 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 What are you doing here? Wait. That was better fighting.
fighting than Sonya did in the first movie. Yep. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Dragon mark can transfer directly onto his skin. Oh, okay. Interesting. I spent years trying to figure out what it all means. So she doesn't have one. History, different cultures all over the world. They. Hey, Wolf. Mm-hmm. Did you see him? I looked down. You son of a bitch. He was there. As Mortal Kombat. Did you make that last part up? <laughs> it just kind of sounds like you made it up. I mean, and look, they spelled it wrong. Hey, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> now I gotta piss again. Oh my gosh. You have a visitor? What? Carefully bites. He's on her side? No. He looks like a prisoner. (laughs) Right. Oh, I love sunshine. His eye looks fine. Who are you? Kano. Kano what? Kano, none of your fucking business. Not bad. Almost built that one. (laughs) (laughs) What? Oh no. Good time. Oh shit! Invisible? Yep. Yep. Oh shit, look at that! Well, oh, there goes his eye, maybe? Oh. It is a rep- oh shit! <laughs> what? She actually threw the knife and it hit him! That was yep. my knife, too! CG's not as good as the last one. Ah! Oh, we pinned it to him. Yeah. Nice. That's smart. It is. That oh, is. Oh. Oh. Fucking toad. Get eye. over here. Don't miss. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Fucking Jeez. fatality. That's his move, right? Kaino wins. <laughs> Kaino wins. <laughs> I, killed I killed it. What are you doing? Just working on a Kaino graphic normal. <laughs> I fancy myself a bit of an artist. He's pretty good. He's a psychopath. Well, all the best artists are a little twisted, man. You kidnapped me, you tied me up, you threw a knife in my fucking leg on purpose. And then that lizard thing took off half of my face. Lucky for me, you can hardly notice it. <laughs> so you had to hide past from me on the hill. He's the best part of the movie so far. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Everyone loves me. <laughs> Woo. Oh, he's right. Ah, <laughs> uh, he looks so unhappy. That's a strange choice to close up to the garden, though. 27, 28 k's. What? Maybe 30 to be safe. Crowd up to 32, eh? If we say 35, there'll be no surprise. <laughs> it just keeps getting further away. Shit. <laughs> he also was flipping it upside down. <laughs> Luke Hang. Luke Hang. Or the Temple of Raiden. Lose hair. I think it might be. At last. What'd you say about his hair? That's his hair. <laughs> How feathered is it? So feathered! Okay, that's far enough, MC Hammer. Oh! Well, that's a fireball! He's got it. <laughs> I'm Liu Kang. Yes! From the Shaolin Order of Light. Yeah. The champions. Hang on, hang the fuck on. Does that mean I'm gonna get superpowers at any point? It does, doesn't it? It's got like a laser eye. There's much to learn. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just stole the movie, man. He did. Also, I hate this. Come, come. Hey, what? This underground temple. Oh. I want to train here. Seems good and safe. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'll give you that. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you are in no physical or mental shape to fight. You don't even have a marking. Wait, hang on. What about me, Gandalf? What does my fortune cookie say? Oh! That's a Kung Lao. <laughs> Look at that. That was awesome. <laughs> Kill them. Don't give a shit about the rules. Jesus. Oh, 
Jesus! Ray shields. Oh, this certainly make on those superpowers. I think I get it now. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Is it gonna be fireballs? Huh? Could be shit. Could be, uh, could be a frisbee hat. <laughs> 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 Guys, Jesus! Jack I was out. like, you know, Luke Hang's a little small. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Got the Bruce Lee physique. No Harry Potter shit, alright? No Harry Potter shit. Wow, one sweep of the leg. Let's see, try that again. Ah! <laughs> 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 That, that was. I thought he was just looking at it. Whatever it is. <laughs> again. 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 Come on, you got this. It really is disturbing, isn't it? Yeah. I'm wanted in over 35 countries for shit you fucking ballerinas couldn't even imagine. You're angry. Oh, fucking nothing gets by you, does it? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's so Australian. <laughs> now sit down. Shut up. And pass me a fucking hero! Oh. God damn it! What? Oh, damn, man. <laughs> He's they, got a laser beam! They woke in his arc! His inner power. <laughs> that was it, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> ah, laser beam! Better than fireballs, you pussy! <laughs> Searching for revenge, <laughs> but his bloodline lived on. And he's just like pissed off down there, ready yeah. to come back and just he's kick just ass. Welcome! Whoa! It's one of those bat things that fucking. Ah! Uh, who's that's that man? Cool. Who are these men? Is that Cabal? Yeah. Oh damn! Who's the bat lady? The great I can't hunter, her name. Natara. Natara. She is yeah. beautiful. Hmm. Not too familiar with her. Yeah, that screech is a real turn on. Ball looks awesome. I like him. He has his. Jesus. He's just, he's just in left. He's a low life piece of shit scumbag. You're gonna love him. Ah. Oh, get him on this side. He betrays him. Oh! Rinskoro! Oh, glowy eyes. Well, everyone. well. You backstabbing, two faced, ugly motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. I was Three million dollars he's not getting. I was wondering, because I was like, damn, man, Kana's on the good guy's side. Interesting. I kind of liked it. <laughs> Where's Goro? <laughs> Goro with Luke Hang? What, you didn't think you'd actually change cool. me, did you? <clears throat> the undoing of the prophecy has begun. Go to when you have the chance. It's Goro. Oh my god, he's going to fight Goro? Goro's wow. a fucking bar. Good luck, buddy. Dude, what? That is a. Uh, this is not who you want to fight. Hell of a thing. He looks great, though. Looks looks almost as good as Shiva. Hey! I'm the one you want. See that? Dude, if that's her, okay. if that's the daughter. Oh shit! Didn't work. Finish them. <laughs> Finish them. Jesus. Oh, oh, man. 
Damn, damn, damn. Let's say, where's Kamala at? Yeah. Ryder! Ryder. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, oh shit. my god! That's a, that's a fatality. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Man, that's so good. Shit! <laughs> Dude. Flawless victory. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's great. I'm so glad I used that. Yeah! Fuck this. Did you not get a gun? Oh, an axe! axe. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, what is this? What the fuck? From the bracelet? That's his powers, he can take hits! Cause he's always getting beat up! Maybe he like absorbs it and can reuse it? Is he absorbing it? the kinetic energy? Or he just needs to take more damage? Use the uppercut! Use the uppercut! The, the motherfucker's arcade was plot armor! <laughs> <laughs> Crazy ass arcane that he's unlocked. Oh and shit! I only have three! Fuck! Oh. Oh. Wow. Holy fuck! Man. Gonna go new arms. Yeah, maybe. He hasn't found it yet. I mean, if that guy can grow. Magic armor, he can grow some arms. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Da 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 Transformers! Da, da, da. Yeah, those, Look at those are those fit better. Yeah. Those are more you. <laughs> I go this for milk we need some for power. five minutes and this happens. Yeah, where was he? Where's he been? He's busy. What's he been doing? Sitting in that damn cage. Looking for babies. I need you. <laughs> Come back. It's okay. He's summoning him back. Oh, we're taking suckers, suckers. <laughs> oh, oh it's okay. He can take it. I don't want Kung Lao. No, Kung Lao. Oh, so don't take his soul. I love the scream right before this. Oh! oh. 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 Fuck, it's still green. Oh. Oh. it. Raiden, fucking do something. Did the hat come through? Yeah, I think so. This is good. Get a wrinkle. Oh, so he can just. Dude, like, it, is the, it is the pit, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the spikes down below. Oh! Nice. Is he dazed? Yeah. Oh! It's the gotcha! There you go. Oh! Yeah, these motherfuckers work. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, you broke it. Gee, you are me. I'm gonna break. Oh! There's no water in that toilet. She drank. She didn't pay the water bill. A bit harder than I thought. Yep, there it is. I can't believe Don't it is. Me. How does that feel? Right in the eye. Ah! Feels fucking amazing. Fucking gnomes. Amazing. That's why they spit on the gnome. <laughs> it was a gun on the mantle, Aaron. And now she gets her... Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking gnome. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm sorry that I cut you. Yeah, yes! Bicycle yes! Bicycle kicking! Oh, 
What's that? That's uh, the rock water. What the fuck? A quicksand? Light it up. A tar? It might be that tar. tar pit. Oh! <laughs> Alright. I guess they all gotta do their fatalities, huh? They're doing their fatalities. It's you great. can do that the whole time. Don't leave that pit. Oh, okay. Because Jesus! And they have to be stunned and can't move. It has to target, target a single spot. Oh! She's getting real mad. There we go. So I was like, angry. Does she just hide? have bad teeth? Where'd she go? I just. Start spinning! Just stab behind you. Just uh, always comes from behind. That's what I was doing. That was cool. Ah, there you go. She already found her arcana. It's a gun. You can just. Jeez! Do that! <laughs> she has a gun? Really? Did he really kill him? I think he did. Or is that just a threat to get him by himself? That's what it is. Oh, okay. I think they're still alive. <laughs> oh. He's got the blade ah, behind Nice! He's got the blade behind Yeah, there we go. Blood. Ooh. The blade of Hanzo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he summoned him. Okay, I'm hyped. Get over here. I'm hyped. <laughs> 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 Risen from hell to kill you. They get much better than that. This is like the best fight in the movie. Oh, yeah. Jesus. By a lot. By a million. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool movie. He's gonna fatality him, Rick. <laughs> oh, okay. He's the one who decides. So this is your great great grandpa.
I will warn you. Nazi <laughs> <laughs> freaked out. out. <laughs> Next time I see you, I will not bring fighters. I will bring armies. You will return to Outworld at once. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? <laughs> he talks so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll assemble a new okay. list of champions. You must find them. Where are you gonna go? Hollywood. Johnny Cage. Oh, shit. What the hell's in Hollywood? Now what? Johnny. Who? It's been fun. Look at Sism that belt buckle. Cage. <laughs> that is a huge <laughs> belt buckle. All right, Mortal Kombat 2021. Damn. Hmm. Not very good. No? <sighs> no. I thought it was, there were good parts, but it was too good to be bad like Annihilation, but not as good as the first one. But I'm also biased. Extremely. No, yeah. I, I just, I'm trying to make sure that I don't, I don't want my bias to the first one because of, like, that's what I had when I was yep. younger. Like every character, I'm going to be obviously comparing yep. them to... Like this Liu Kang versus that Liu Kang. And sure. I'm like, also, Liu Kang, you know? And also, I, I like the trailer to this movie, but the trailer gave away everything that was good in the movie. Yeah. I, I hate when they do that stuff, you yeah. know? Yeah. They also released the first seven minutes before the movie came out. Oh, you okay. Know? So just the first scene then? Yeah, like that whole first. Uh, the fight scene, I think. The whole yeah, first part of this. Seven actually, minutes up to like. I don't know. I don't know if the Sub Zero right. fight and it's that, all that happened. I don't mm -hmm. know. But like the first seven minutes, they just released early. Huh. Sure. I don't think it's a bad movie. I think the things I appreciate about it is, I mean, number one, it's R, so they definitely use fatalities. I mean, that it first is. movie is missing fatalities. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they definitely they use moves from, <laughs> from the game. I definitely like got hyped for those, some of those. Yeah. And I really like that. I also feel like they're trying to bring the lore of a video game that is ridiculous. Yeah. And the early lore of those other video games are just... They're, they're there, you know, but there's... I get what you mean. It's not like, it's not like Metal Gear Solid, right? Yeah. Those games are like, I it's a fighting understand. game, here's their backstories, here's yeah. the things. It just, it makes sense, you know? Like, obviously, they're trying to restart the franchise here and be like, all right, next movie. The only thing is, it feels like next movie will actually get to Mortal Kombat, because they didn't do Mortal Kombat yet. Sure. Yeah. It was just the prelude, which, like, I mean, I know, you know, last time in the last version of this thing they broke the rules in the second movie anyway but like no one gives a shit about the rules <laughs> <laughs> sure but it, like it was like in the first one like they used the rules and went with the tournament and they were going to win and then yeah. because they lost the tournament even though Shang Tsung tried to like alter the rules in the first one right mm -hmm. and take them back and fight sure. on his terms they still had the tournament they, yeah. then they lo they won and they're like ha ah, we're free and then they broke all the rules of Annihilation, came through, and was just going to take the shit anyway. Which yeah. is like what he's talking about here of like, well, now I'll come back with armies. Yeah, it's the we'll thing, like, if you can just do armies. that, what's the point of Mortal Kombat? Yeah, but we didn't have the initial tournament, maybe, yeah. like we maybe we should have. Yeah. Maybe we should have gone that tournament route a little bit. But I do like some of the elements of, like, the stuff they do with the lore. Like, you know, Sub-Zero and Scorpion are from different clans. It's kind of why they battle. I've always thought that Sub Zero was more on the good side, but there's there's some other things in there yeah. to like, like Scorpion was after Sub Zero because of a murder of his family, but then there's also like later on in the lore they're like, well Quan Chi I think did some shit. Yeah. And really, it wasn't Sub Zero that did this shit. And sure. There's a bunch of things there. In this one, it seems like Sub Zero just fucking killed him, and Sub Zero's still there like years and years. I mean, and years he did. Later. He said four. Well, I don't know what he said, but four something. So he yeah. had a reason to take wipe out that bloodline. Sure, like there was a lot of stuff. Like, so there's some is. stories and elements there that, like, well, I appreciate that they're kind yeah. of trying to stick with the story. I feel like I'm missing, like, how did he live for 400 years? Sub Zero. Yeah. A uh, cryo freezing. He's cold. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> Probably. He's good I mean, reasoning. I mean, you know, how does he have, you know, Sub Zero powers? But I mean, sure. this at least that's explained it. In a way, I don't know if that's from the games, but like I'm like, all right, I buy it. They all get semblances or the, something. Uh, the Outworld people, are, I think, are just what the Outworld people are. But yeah. I do like the idea that for them to have their powers, it's like this Arcana thing based mm -hmm. on the champions who have the markings and all this different stuff. So like, there's some reasoning as to why Liu Kang has fire or why Sonya Blade can like shoot off little like pink things and you know like 
Jax's arms aren't just sure. giant mechanical arms. They're part like of his Like in the first movie, it's like, you three are destined to, you know, to save the world, you know? And I'm always like, why? Why those three? Luke Kang, I guess I get, because he was like the chosen one from the Order of Light. Mm. But why these two? They kind of showed up. Sure. You yeah. know? Yeah. Or I, I guess Shang Tsung wanted Giant Cage to be there. Yeah. And then Sonya was, he also wanted them, so why were they, I don't know. Anyway, like the whole marking thing, like, I don't know much about Mortal Kombat. It, it felt n- new. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming it's new, but I guess it was okay. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played 10 or 11, so I don't know the stories of those. Yeah. But from the others, I don't remember it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. I'm um, interested to know, like, how much of the game lore this was bringing in, because this is very much different than the first two movies. I mean, there's some good chunks of stuff that they're dropping in. Like, the... the the uh, the clans the the Lin Kuei and the Shari Ru I think is how the other so Scorpion's group is said yeah, yeah. like those were clans that were fighting I think in the Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat cartoon you see a little bit more of that too of like those factions being against each other Bo Raich, Bo being the master of Liu Kang like that did happen in the games and stuff that's kind of where he came to be Kung Lao being in this I liked Kung Lao like I liked his power bases and stuff yeah. I hate that he kind of just died off real quick without yeah. really like. It was just kind of like, all right, everyone run away. And they're like, oh, not you. you know? I mean, once they set him up, like, no, this is the guy that's going to save all your asses. I'm like, well, that guy's probably going to die, you know? Sure. Because, I mean, you have to give that agency to our main character. I just wish that it would have been more of, like, it could have been more of a sacrifice from him yeah. to save Lou or something sure. along those lines. Versus, like, like it, literally going to save their asses. It, it felt like the escape is happening, but Shang Tsung's just like, nah, you no, know, you're not. And then yeah. it's like, you're going to die. And it's like, sure. oh, okay. So, like, that part there could have been done maybe a little differently, at least for me, for me, I mean, to get out, of, get out of the way. I thought like a lot of this design work was good. Like I, I could have used for a little more blue on Sub Zero, <laughs> maybe. There's yeah. a very armoristic outworld look from those people. Yeah. Like uh, uh, Sub Zero had that. Shang Tsung seemed very armory in True. his robes and stuff. Yeah. Which... I just felt like everything else, like in terms of the color that you think of when those characters, it was very apparent. But for Sub Zero, like I'm mean, at least give him like a blue like sash or belt or something, you know. Like but it was almost all black. Yeah, I mean, Jax, like, isn't in purple Yeah, in this or anything. Like, I think Sony was probably the closest. Mm-hmm. Cabal wasn't close, but he was really cool. It was really cool. I like Cabal. I, I was I really was... curious if those red eyes were, like, part of the costume or was it was su- a digital effect. Yeah, I don't know. I was surprised right. to see Cabal in this, and I like that they included him in here. And mm-hmm. his moveset was pretty... Yeah, yeah like, no, he had his weapons. What you would expect. His, his speed thing that he does, you know? Like, he has that kind of stuff in the games, which I appreciate that they use a lot of those kind of things in the games, like, from... From move sets to uh, even uh, like Jax, whenever he was about to fatality the one guy, like it, it's hard to do Jax moves. I feel like yeah. In Annihilation, they did his kind of like rumble hit on the ground. Sure. Um, but uh, one of his ones I always remember being one of his moves that I thought was kind of weird because it's not like everyone else where they have like a laser they shoot or whatever. But he did. He does kind of have a laser thing he can do. But yeah. his was always like the yeah. He like hits sure. them together. He's done that. Um, the one I always remembered was like he's like gotcha, and he would be like gotcha, bam, bam, and he'd hit him, and he'd throw him down. Yeah, that's what I thought of whenever the one guy he, he was getting him, and he's like had him like by the neck and started punching him, and then he did the, the head smash. You know, didn't he also didn't he have one where he like hits the ground and it like makes the guy jump up towards you? And I think maybe yeah, it's kind of like the long yeah, and it, it varies sort of too thing. based on the games because different ones later on kind of change things up and yeah, and um, a lot of people had weapons in here and that came in during like. Deception era, um, I think. Yeah, I, well, did well, four... I guess Mortal Kombat 4. Did 4 have weapons? I think had 4 weapons. had weapons. But, like, Deception or something had, like, the switching stances. Mm-hmm. Where you had, like, a stance, another stance, and then a weapon stance. Yeah. Because I remember that being, like, sub, one of Sub-Zero's things was that he would, like, make his ice weapon in one of his stances and stuff. So, mm-hmm. there's, there's some definite, like, it has to connect, connect to some game stuff. And I'm glad that they do, because, like, I felt like the, you know, the original Mortal Kombat... Had some, but not a lot. There wasn't a ton of lore. Like here, I, I liked when they went into the temple. Oh, well, and there wasn't as much lore when that came out. Sure. As there is now. Yeah, there's only three games at that point there. Yeah. Um, there's more characters now, more fatalities they can pull from and everything. But I liked whenever they went to the temple and you saw like these different instances of like history for the Mortal Kombat yeah. tournaments. Like the Tarkatan like, had killed someone and stuff, and they had like a thing with, like I think it was like Goro. I think maybe it might have been him. I can't I'm trying to remember what all that was. I don't know was, if it was but... Goro or just one of his... Sure. Species so, like, whatever. I like seeing that. Like, it adds more history and lore to mm-hmm. things that you're kind of getting little glimpses of. Uh, Sonya Blade's, like, crazy board that she had of trying to connect all the dots and stuff. She had, like, like 50 crazy boards, but we only saw a little bit. Yeah. 
So I liked a lot of that kind of stuff for sure. What'd you guys think fight-wise? So I felt like the actors and performers did a fantastic job. I felt like it was a disservice how much they were cutting in the editing. Yeah. I, like, yeah. like a huge disservice. I mean, you had Sub-Zero and Scorpion, both of their fights bookending this, they were clearly the best performers in the entire movie, and they're doing like two or three hits per cut. Like, you were doing those actors a disservice. I know those actors can pull it off. Why are you doing that? It's like a sure. choice. It's like a choice to fuck it up. Well, the Honda you know? actor we've seen in other stuff, and yeah. he, uh, he definitely fights really well in other things that yeah. we've seen. So, like, at yeah. least him, I know that he Hiroyuki can do Hiroyuki Sonata. That sounds right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like and what? then the Sub-Zero guy, I feel like Sub-Zero, in terms of the villains, carried this whole movie on his back. But he did very well, too. Like, their, their hand movement in that first fight, when it's just them and the ropes, fantastic. But... Yeah. Cut, cut, cut. Quit fucking cutting. You're not adding anything. You are only taking away. I can't... I, I'd have, I, I need to have a conversation with an editor about this. Someone that knows what they're talking about versus me. It's more layman. But, like, what are you doing to for the scene? Like, you well, are not adding energy. There's, there's two reasons to cut, I feel like. Mm -hmm. One is, like, if the actors can't perform it, right? Yes. Like, that's yeah. one reason. Mm -hmm. is like, cutting so it. cut away from a mistake. Yeah. Which you have Sonata and this other guy that's, like, part of the raid team. So, no. <laughs> that's yeah, you not imagine the case. Like, that shouldn't be it. The other yeah. one must be like that. The only other one I can think of is like that's like the vision or artistic vision that they're looking for is yeah. this. In which case, like I don't get what they're going for. Like are they, like is, like I understand it more when you have like a you ha like here's the footage I have. It's like man, these don't work. Do it. You could you do know? it more. I feel like in the second fight when there's a lot more visual effects, a lot more sword weapons and stuff like that. But like these guys know in what. The second they're doing. fight they did less. It was so much better. Yeah, yeah. I did like the second fight yeah. a lot. I got really hyped and that motherfucker showed up, though I knew he was going to because, because of, the of the trailer. The trailer. Sure, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, that was the hypest moment, and you just you put that in your trailer, you know? Uh, that bugs me. Yeah, and that was in the music part. Like, mm -hmm. like we hadn't heard it the whole time. It's like, bum, bum. But had you not seen that in the trailer, yeah. it would have been, I think, a little like, bit more Like, I still felt it, feeling. but I was also almost waiting for it, you know? Sure. Well, because, like, we've gone there. We, we see that they're fighting in the yeah. ring. We know that there's, like, that get over here moment because it was in the trailer. Mm -hmm. and. And and the, uh, the the blood icicle like that's a really cool moment. But and I, I was loved way, it in the trailer. I was way know? more excited when I saw it the first time. So I, was, I you know when I watched that kind of stuff in the trailer, I'm like, okay, that's what they put in the trailer. Can't wait to watch the movie because you know the trailer should have fifty percent of the hype stuff. Sure, and, you know I, not fifty percent, but like up to here. I but you're saving like, your good shit. I always like when a trailer shows like the first half of the movie, yeah. and you're like, damn, the first half of the movie must be that good. I can't wait yeah. to see what the last half of the movie is, because that's yeah. when it really amps up even more. So when you do that and you show, like, here's the last scene. Yeah, last I get you. Fight but in the movie. Like, my, like, when it comes to that, like, I'm like, look, they're selling the movie. they got to market it. That's what they're going to do so they can make money. Sure. And I get that. There is no argument for the cuttiness of these fights that enhances anything. You're not selling anything. You're only taking away from... Obviously, how much work your actors put into learning sure. these fights. It, it's why, like, the Shang-Chi movie that's coming out, yeah. I'm hoping, is a little bit more Eastern filmed I hope so. and edited than it is Western. Because mm -hmm. the Western style cuts a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, that's the thing you got to get right. You know, if it's a Mortal Kombat movie, Absolutely. you got to have good fights. Absolutely. Preferably with and something it, music. And it's not... Yeah, I know. And it's not <laughs> like, you know, the you know, 2000 or 1995 Mortal Kombat had all these one-shots or anything. But yeah. it had... Seven, eight moves per cut, not two or three. Like, that's, you know, it, you would think, like, well, that's not that big of a deal. Like, it, it feels like it to me, you know? Sure. It just feels like you're robbing all this energy that these actors are putting out. It's just, when it's hit, hit, cut, hit, hit, cut, yeah. hit, hit, cut, you're like, you're not getting the feel of everything, I feel like. You're kind mm -hmm. of taking it a little bit of a way. Yeah. I mean, so the like, 95 Mortal Kombat is not a master class in mm -hmm. fights. No. But it's, it's better than this. Sure. But you know what is? What is is the fucking, the raid. Or parts of the Last Samurai, where these motherfuckers prove they can do it, you yeah. know. <laughs> uh, okay. Anyway, so yeah, that's I I, I I honestly praise how well a lot of these fighters were doing. I just wish they had the opportunity to like have better to editing shine. in their fights, you know. Because like you know the guy that plays a uh, uh, Cole, I thought he was a very good performer. I didn't really love Cole much. I mean, he was yeah. kind of cookie cutter and. I honestly think his power is super lame. Yeah, his power is lame, <laughs> and I hated that. Like the end fight is two good guys versus one bad guy. Yeah, I just hate that booking. Yeah, because I get it you. makes the good guys look like they have to cheat to win. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's not like they're rising up and. But the whole time you're having the bad guys who have been cheating this whole time to win. I know, but the good guys <laughs> should be 
They able should to overcome, overcome that. that while following the rules. You know? That's what makes them great and good guys. Exactly. So you don't like the like the Hanzo bloodline coming back and stopping Zero? I, mean, I get it, Zero? but I wish it had just been one or the other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of, I mean, I get what they mean. I, I kind of wish it was, it was Hanzo comes back and because he's fueled by revenge and stuff, he doesn't give a fuck about anything else. And maybe he puts them in danger, you know? Then he has to choose to stop. And then maybe Cole comes in there. But that didn't really happen. The guy kind of just like, hey, man, I need some fucking help. Sub-Zero, you know, lives a long time for some reason. I can't beat him, <laughs> you know? Sure. So it was, a, or, it, it was, I thought it was good, but like... Or not have Cole fighting and just Scorpion versus Sub-Zero. I kind of yeah. felt like Cole got, his, got a good fight in before, you know, he had the Goro, Goro. He had a Goro fight. Goro, I, I mean, one, I mean, you know, they do as much as they can with the digital thing, but it didn't, it didn't look great for me. Goro and didn't look great. I, I, I didn't think it looked great. I thought it looked like good CG, but like it's hard, it's hard not to you know enjoy the realism of the previous suit. But aside from that, he had a fight in a fucking bar, and that's all he does. Like this is the champion of Mortal Kombat, isn't it? And he fought in a bar. No, I mean he's never been the top of the tower. He killed eighty dudes in that ninety-five movie. But he was the champion. I think. Isn't he the champion of Mortal Kombat? Maybe, Combat? I guess. I don't know. I always remember, like, in the games, like, you always fought up, and Goro was, like, Mataro. He was they, always, like, the second to last guy you fought, yeah. and then you fought, like, Shang Tsung. In Outworld, you they know, you fought Mataro, him. and then you fought Shao Kahn. You, like, yeah. I always feel like that's how it was. Like, Goro was always, like, he was a champion yeah. before the big bad boss guy. Yeah, I mean? get you. Yeah, but, I like, think, in Outworld, like, they gave him, like, the entrance and the shadow, and they're like, oh, fucking Goro, and all the other lieutenants or all the other guys are like, yeah, well, he's the one, you know? But they all got, I thought, really cool fights. Cabal especially. I really like Cabal. Goro just kind of like opened a bar and got, you know, that's it. <laughs> there wasn't much. I think well, in my opinion. He wasn't fought alone. Like the wife came in with the axe. Yeah. You know, and the came truck. in with the truck. Yeah. See, that's why you need to have, I, I think they should have went more the tournament route rather than Agreed. having all the stuff like. Yeah. I like how like, they, they I broke like, up the fights. Like they separated all the other fighters into like mm-hmm. a tournament format. Yeah, but how like haphazard it was. True, I think it didn't benefit from that. I get you. They they got to kind of have like, all right, well, Raiden will take these two to a stage, and these two to a stage. I'm like, okay, I see what you're yeah. doing. You're having Mortal Combat without having Mortal Combat, you know. But if the fights were shot better, maybe I I, yeah, I enjoy it more. Or I should say, I think, ed- edited better. I think Goro himself, like the effects and the model and everything, I think all of that looked great mm. for for what it is. But I think whenever, I think whenever he interacted with the the live action actor, yeah, it, it didn't look good. Hmm. Hmm. I liked Goro. Um, I wish they would have just. I, I get Eric's point of the barn thing. I wish they yeah. would have like had like just a fight location kind of thing. But I also get the idea of like, well, we're gonna have Cole. He needs to learn his power. Yeah. But we, putting him in danger of like his family in danger is the way that's gonna really motivate him. That's like, what he's I, doing most of his stuff for. So, but like have him have that moment at the very end there with Sub Zero, maybe, even. M- maybe. I mean, that might work there too. I don't mind um, so much Goro being caught in the barn, and being like, "Oh, that that's all he did." Because yeah. when he fought Johnny Cage, oh, he just he just fell off a cliff. Sure. What a what a blundering idiot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Like, but killed be- like fifty dudes before that. But he did. Be- before he got that, arts. Before that, yeah, you get the. Feeling. I thought that was arts being. You, and half and see, and that one you don't get a good fight with Goro. No. There's, there's no, no good you fight right, with Goro no. in right. the first movie. You see the Goro looks good, yeah. but the fights honestly are terrible because all yeah. you see is a bunch of just hits and guys falling. And then the arts one you see a little bit, but for yeah. the most part it's just like oh oh oh, and then he's dead. Agreed. Yeah. But I think I don't think that, in my opinion, because like, I I don't I'm not the effects not dog shit. No, it's I think not like good. it's I not like the it. worst. But I think that if you're going from ninety five, it's like looks good, can't fight. It should be, looks good, can fight. Not, uh, you know, can fight, doesn't look good, if that makes sense. I think putting it into the tournament bracket kind of idea, like I was saying earlier, yeah. is like you give that chance to be like, here is a fight. It's this guy versus this mm-hmm. guy. We're going to see it. And then, if you need to, toss in cannon fodder to see how yeah. tough Goro is. And then when it has to be Cole or whoever's going to fight him, it's a bigger moment like with Johnny Cage. Because yeah. even though that fight isn't great, he punches in the balls, runs up the cliff, Knocks him off, he dies. Yeah, but John, man, fucking Johnny in that first movie has the like the hardest matchups of everyone. He does, but like, Luke Hang starts out with like one guy, you know. But him overcoming that <laughs> is, <laughs> is met because you know how tough Goro yeah, is because exactly. he's beaten these other guys. Yeah, Even yeah. though we haven't seen any real good fights. Well, in, and they shoot around it. You know, yeah, they do. You kind of remember it being more than it is. Yeah. Sure, it, it's one of those things where it's like the 
the Wampa in Star Wars, right? Yeah. Like when they first did it, they didn't show what it was because they couldn't really do it, but it almost added more suspense and a, a scary factor because you couldn't tell what exactly this yeah. thing was. Um, so like doing that, like they have that with the doors, but then like he just shows up and like the, the fight isn't great because it's the wife coming in and hitting the, yeah. the axe or is there's not like a fight. There's the barn falling in on everything. Like there's just, there's, there's not, it's not a fight. Yeah, I mean when you lose. It's a monster, yeah. The it's a monster. It's a mon- It's trying to survive sure. a monster mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Rick. Sorry. No, just um, when you lose the restrictions of like, well, we can do anything we want because we have CG. Yeah. It doesn't make you think creatively when it comes to like filming them. I do. I, I do get that. Restrictions can create some very cool things to figure out how to get around stuff, but I don't know. Yeah. And like, it was really fun to see the fatalities here. Yeah. But I think they're all did. CG, and the games look so good now that it's like, well, I mean, I've I've seen almost this in the games. I felt. Personally, like this was some of the best digital blood I've seen in a movie. Sure, because nice. some of it's real, some of it's not. But the digital parts, like obviously that digital blood, looks really good. Like there's some, uh, there's definitely some real blood during like the, the first fight, yeah. right? Yeah. Like during that opening scene. Well, um, they were doing it smart though because they were using real blood work and digital stuff. So yeah, like when it's interacting with things, yeah. that's real. But when it's all over the place and going crazy, that's digital. Sure. And that's the smartest way to do it, you know? Yeah, when it interacts with things, that's when it has to look good. Like when I, it's just splashing across the screen yeah. and you can't see where it lands, then it can be digital and everything, it, it all ties yeah. itself together. Like watching the Kun Lao fatality with the spinning hat, I, I was convinced there was some practicality in there. Like, by, by the way it was cutting and moving everything, like jerky-wise, I felt like they were doing something practical and adding digital to it. And they could have been. Really, if, I that was, was one of my favorite effective. moments. Was used, I was not ready for him to do that. Yeah. <laughs> because like, yeah, the, it was like that. that fight yeah. just started. Yeah. And then he just did that. And I'm like, fucking, that's a fatality right there. Oh, yeah. my gosh. And it was it was good. I loved it. You know, I was excited for that. Mm-hmm. But I guess in the same sense, like, that's what they, Kung Lao had that happen to him. He's like, yeah. you just randomly just, you just killed off my, one of my great fighters. And sure. I'm just going to kill off you and suck your soul. Yeah. So. I get you. I'm definitely happy that, like, right before we started, I'm like, nope. Turn my brain off and just enjoy what I, I enjoy. Sure. Which a lot of that was Kano. Kano is pretty good. I, 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 I was almost worried halfway through. I'm like, wait, okay, so, or when they started to do the whole turn, Kano turning, I'm like, am I going to hate this guy enough to want him to die? Because he's have, I'm having a lot of fun. It was, if if the perfect amount of Kano is 100%, I felt like this was 110%. Hmm. If, that, if that makes sense, it was maybe a little bit much. But I also feel like the guy was so good that they got on set and like, man, we need you to do more. Because he, <laughs> he was carried the first half of the movie. He was so good in, in a lot of those scenes, but there was maybe like yeah, a minute or two too much of it. But I liked it. I like, especially like the pushing him to his arcane scene too. Sure. Yeah. I liked him and I liked Jax a lot. Cole, I, I don't. Jax. I don't know of Cole being in Mortal Kombat. I feel like he's a new character for this because I'm not yeah. familiar with him at all. Um, I, I don't. I don't know. His character is okay, but it is like it's kind of like, like his he's... character would have benefited if his family had died earlier in the movie when Sub Zero came after him, and then he would have the motivation that uh, Liu Kang had in the first movie. Mm. Like he killed my brother, you know, mm. he killed my family. Mm. Now I'm gonna. Yeah, but then you're rehashing the bloodline to be the exact same of what happened with Scorpion, except he. Yeah, but this time, like he overcomes where Scorpion did. Yeah, I guess. But you could also do the same with what they did here, where like he's overcome by saving his family. Like that's yeah. the overcoming that he does, right? So I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I do kind of like the way they leave it off. Be the next Scorpion. I don't know. Well, I thought maybe they were gonna go that yeah. route because he, he had the blade and he put it back here, yeah. and we had seen like that thing kind of doing that twirl up the blade before, and then that's what made his armor was like that same kind of like twirl strands and whatnot. And I was like, maybe they're building him into he's gonna be Scorpion. Maybe that's what it is. Because I'm like, I don't... I mean, I always thought the other guy was a scorpion here in this, but maybe they're going to go another way with this. But it was just the bloodline, and then scorpion showed up anyway, and then he also said, I am scorpion. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, that's scorpion. That's not him. Pretty definitive. <laughs> I kept waiting, for too, for them to do something with Cole, where I'm like, oh, that's who that is, you know? Like, sure. They started wrapping stuff up. I thought maybe he was going to turn into Cyrax or something. You know, I don't know. Like, turn into a robot. I don't know what he was going to do. So <laughs> A robot? He just wasn't programmed to defend? Yeah, I just didn't know what it was going to be, so... Yeah, and there was, I can't remember what his name was, but there was like a, 
generic fighter dude that was dressed in yellow in one of the PS2 games. That I thought maybe that's him, mm. but it is not him. Mm. The uh, succubus lady is from the game. She was first in Deadly Alliance. The wings. Nitara. Yeah. I say like she's in one of the newer games that I, I there's a, there's a segment where like I just kind of stopped playing mm-hmm. and I did I'm not too familiar with some of the stuff in between there like they also brought in a dragonkin guy like there's like a giant he's oh, just yeah. a dragon basically but he's like he's as big as Goro but he just kind of has like a tail I, I think he has little wings and stuff but he, he I, I almost thought he was that uh Sizoth but oh, Sizoth reptile thing yeah because it was reptile but then the way he looked reminded me of of that dragonkin guy and stuff sure. but. I think that's just supposed to be like the reptile, maybe before reptile, or uh, yeah, especially with the invisibility. Like yeah, that's, that's got to be him. So I mean, even the reptile we had in the first one was literally a lizard. Yes, yeah. and then became reptile. Yeah. So I'm not gonna be like, well, fucking, that's just a lizard. I get you. Know, like, it would have been interesting. If I mean, one's like, more hype than the other from the first one. You know, yeah. like, like yeah, it's just a lizard thing. But then it, you know, it's one of my favorite parts of the movie. You know. Sure. Like, uh, but I, so I get you. Does, that's all. does reptile yeah. always have like acid saliva? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he spits so he, it and stuff. Yeah. Actually, I think one of his things, he pulls off his mask, and he's a lizard. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, like, he's a lizard. Yeah. You know? If you put that in a ninja suit, there's reptile. Sure. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I like that they threw in Ed and Tobias into this. That, yeah, that's a cool little thing. It was a fun nod Eddie that, like, Tobias. Cole beat Eddie Tobias. And I was like, Tobias! And then after I thought about, like, Eddie! Oh, yeah. not, not Eddie, Ed. <laughs> it reminded me of the Doom movie when they brought in, like, Dr. Carmack or whatever. Another one of my complaints is that I mean I know you have a huge, huge like shoes to fill when it comes to Shang Sun, but I felt like that guy had no presence. I feel like Sub Zero was a better big boss. Agreed. I, I don't know. Like I just didn't get anything from that actor. I, I I would say like the weakest. Like I have issues with Cole a little bit, but yeah. I think the weakest two on this is probably Shang Tsung and uh, Raiden. I didn't think Raiden was too bad. Like, he acted a lot like the original Raiden for me. Yeah. He just wasn't quite as charismatic, and maybe it's a language thing. True. I think Raiden did better than Shang Tsung. He's not, you know, Harry or Highlander. We also saw know. more of him than Shang Tsung. I mean, I appreciate that he's the, you know, he's the race that he should be. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it, it makes a lot more sense than yeah. being a French dude. But, so, uh, or an American guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I thought, you know, Raiden's not, he's not my favorite Raiden, but I thought that he was serviceable. I, I, I truly think that Shang Sun was not serviceable. No offense to the guy. But he didn't really get a chance to, like, show off anything other than just. And they didn't even guy. really fight here, so they yeah. didn't cast him for, like, his, you know, yeah. fighting prowess either. I, I, I sure. Don't know. That's the difference you get, right? Like, okay, yeah. well, what do we go for? Are we getting someone who can fight? Are we getting someone who can act? Because mm-hmm. sometimes you might go for an actor, True. but then they can't fight. Like, yeah. Sonya Blade. When they had her in the first movie, that was more of an actor, not a fighter person. You yeah. Know? yeah. Whereas like other characters, sometimes you get them. He's like, this guy's a fighter. Mm-hmm. We'll work with the acting side yeah. the best we can, but we want the fight the, the, to be great. So I what thought maybe he... Shang Tsung might have done that, but they didn't do anything with that really. He was just kind of like, like I don't know. There, there wasn't a whole lot to him, and the things he said was kind of just the things, the same thing. I don't know. Yeah, it was just generic. Like he was just kind of there. I think having the tournament idea fixes a lot of stuff that we have with the fighting aspects of like, well, just have them fight and do that. And then, when Outworld loses, then, since you lost here already anyway, do your army thing anyway. That way you have your tournament kind of thing. You can have it seem like they followed the rules and lost. And then they just break the rules anyway, come in and charge. And I do... I'm, I'm half looking forward because I feel like they're looking at a Mortal Kombat 2 idea. Oh, absolutely. And I think that it could build into something good, especially if they take like some criticism from this build upon it and make the next one better. Agreed. But they have like that idea of like death is only a portal. Mm-hmm. So like you can easily have Cabal could come back and Kano can come back and Sub-Zero well, yeah, come and back, you know, and all that. Like spoilers, dead characters do come back in the Mortal Kombat universe. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, I mean, well, we know Scorpion that from the first here. movie when he brings back his brother. Well, but that wasn't really his brother. Soul. I mean, the souls got released, but yeah. even in this movie we had, you know, like Hanzo died. Sure. You know? And came back as a hell beast. Sure. Yeah, we had that. No, but like, uh, I don't know. Like, you could have Kano come back no problem, be on the bad side. I was worried that he was going to be on the good side, but I was like, well, this might be an interesting ch- twist change for him as he's fighting for the good people. And then they. I certainly liked him interacting with our main characters. 
Well, he's different, right? Like really great. You have like this bad guy with the good guys. It's like an Australian Deadpool. <laughs> kind of, yeah. You have the Merc with the yeah. mouth. Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely some things where like this is not as good. But looking at the things that are better, I thought Sony and Jax were both better than I, I like they've ever been. Yeah. Jax was one of my favorites in this. Jax was legit. Like I, I felt for him, you know. Like I really liked the way the guy played it, and I loved the line. Like, yeah, these motherfuckers work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that felt like a thing after you have a fight. They have like those cut scenes. That's a good, you know, the thing that he would say. Yeah. I, I liked it. I liked it better yeah, like than the Neil little Jax. tussle between Sonya and Kano in the desert. I thought was pretty good. Yeah. Like that. We didn't get to see her do a lot of stuff because of the cutting or yeah. her second fight was like sneaking sure. around sort of thing. But. but I mean, you know, I don't want to just make it sound like we're praising the old and down with the new. Like the, the old movies both did disservices to Sonya actively. This one didn't. So sure. I'm good with yeah. that. <laughs> the first one, like that fight that she had with Kano there was better than the whole fight that she had with Kano in the first movie. Oh, yeah. You know? Now in the second movie, I feel like she fought, they got her to fight much yeah. better. They got a new actress and stuff and I felt like it was much better as far yeah. as the fighting there, you know? You know, just the the the, mo- the movie fan in me or, the, you know, the guy that's, like, interested in how movies are put together, I was just confounded when he spit and they did a close-up on that. No. Like, at the beginning, the, you know, the gardening tool, I'm like, okay, he's gonna use that to fight, you know? But they did the no, and I'm like, Why? And it, had, it was just so much longer, like, later, that I, I just forgot about the gnome until they went from inside through the window outside. I'm like, we got to be careful about gnomes there. <gasps> <laughs> They're going to use a gnome to end his fight. Yeah. You know? I thought about yeah. it probably around the same time you did of them coming outside, and I'm like, uh, I was confounded by that gnome for, like, the next 15 minutes. I just forget to break it down. Why the gnome? You know? I want to do a crazy board. Why the gnome? <laughs> Why the gnome? He just, do you need something to spit at? <laughs> Fucking gun. There's a few things I'm curious on too that they didn't cover too much. Like the, I don't think they said who Jax's target was that he killed and got the the dragon tattoo no. from. Or was Kano. What that matter? Yeah, I don't know who Kano killed either. Mm-hmm. They um, mentioned that it was this guy with like supernatural powers. He had yeah, powers, like, but it doesn't really. But I mean, that is a lot of people. It doesn't narrow anything down. <laughs> like it could have been Aramac, or it could have been just whoever uh, had their arcade rain, or it could have been Sindel. I don't know. It could have been Night Wolf. It could have been so many people. Oh, yeah, yeah, we gotta go back. And it could have been. I feel. Did you guys all see Night Wolf? I know yeah, Aaron I did. did I definitely saw him. Let me who I presume to be Night Wolf. Yeah, Night it's Wolf. gotta be him. I had seen that. I was like Night Wolf, and Aaron goes, "Huh?" And right when he looked up, it cut away. <laughs> You're like, "Oh." <laughs> I mean, it could be. I mean, it also might not be that that's Night Wolf, but it, it might be, be an leaning, ancestor. It might be leaning towards the ancestor of. Yeah, exactly. It's hard to tell what they are doing, but it definitely nods towards Night Wolf. I feel like for sure. Yeah, I'm like ninety nine point. And. You know, who knows how long they live? Like, is Sub Zero alone in that he lives for thousands of years? Or is it anyone with their arcana? Sure. They can live a long time. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe you guys in that chiro- chirogenic sp- sleep. You know it also seems like several of the warriors that Shang Tsung has are from Earth, right? Like, yeah. Cabal obviously must be from Earth, the way yeah. he talks about Kane. Sub Zero. No, Kana. Sub Zero like, from the uh, Lin Kuei. Mm-hmm clan and stuff like that too like he spoke Chinese you know so it's just there's they definitely felt like they must be from Earth Realm and then they're just working for Shang Tsung I mean there were a ton of characters in Armageddon good lord oh yeah that one had everybody there were so it, many it, yeah mocap man or whatever his name was mocap man yep <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what you're talking character about. Character that was based on the actor who did the motion capture for the game it was the, the Show you. Was he wearing like a motion tracking? Oh yeah. And everything. Yep. Oh my gosh. I think yeah. his name was MoCap. He was definitely Mortal Kombat Annihilation. I think he might have been Mortal Kombat Four, maybe as well. MoCap with a K, obviously. Of yeah. course. MoCap. That's definitely. Did uh, did Kung Lao get hit in his fight with the Dragon Lady? Oh. Did he get hit? No. Did he get hit? Right. No. When I mean, he said flawless victory, I was like, was it? I can't remember. Yeah, he. Like that last like she time. was going for him from behind, yeah. and he ducked okay. and grabbed her gotcha. and like pushed her down on the ground and jumped on her back her. and then slid her into the hat. So it was a flawless victory. It was flawless. Think fantastic. As opposed to the other one, like in the first one, he's like, flawless victory. I'm like, they yeah. got him. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? Broke the... Broke everything. I really liked... I mean, like I said, I, I really enjoyed Kano. I thought the actor did a good job. Kano uh, wins. Yeah, Kano <laughs> wins, you know? He just a random detail that he's a good drawler, you know. But uh, 
I loved his line when they're talking about like what you're gonna get, and he's like, oh, it could be shit, could be a frisbee hat. <laughs> That's really no offense. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean he got his laser eye. It was a little different because he was he didn't have like the metallic part of it. Yeah, but that might be something in a sequel movie. Where it was interesting that he had laser eye. Build his uh, laser eyes, just one. And just what he has. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he had in the game, too. I mean, you gotta be able to see, right? When you're shooting out of it, you might not be able to see. So you gotta be able to see where you're Superman shooting. Superman can see when he's shooting out of it. That's a Kryptonian and not a human. Sorry. With yeah, but, it doesn't make sense, Cal. But Kano's name starts with a K. Yeah. That's un- And it has an O. Crip. And yeah. N. It also has no in it, so it doesn't work. He's right. No, Calvin. Yeah. No C. No C. I think they tried to give Shang Tsung some presence because they did like a subtle effect to his voice. Yep. Where it had like a reverb or something. Mm-hmm. The original Shang Tsung didn't need that shit. No. The, the original guy, the guy in the first, you say the original, the first Shang Tsung in the movies. Yeah. He just, like, he was like born to play Shang Tsung. Like, yeah, he was. He just was. so good. Which, so good. The actor who played Shang Tsung here, I feel like I recognize him. He is in The Dark Knight. The Chinese guy in the Dark Knight, the uh, the mob boss guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's guys on the TV. Guys on the TV, I think. Maybe they're setting it up. It's like, well, we're having a fight, and the actor's like an amazing fighter or something. But like, well, like, do I, they I, have... I think he had worse than a, like. I think he had no presence, honestly. Even with the reverb and stuff, I was just like. And granted, I I am extremely, admittedly biased to the first one, but it was like a huge letdown for me, that actor. <laughs> well, you said that right away, didn't you? Hey, oh, hang yeah. on, wait. Judge him later. Well, okay. well, when they first said his name, and like you just saw the back of him, I got all excited. I was like, oh, yeah. Hope it's good. Like you know, I don't know how old the other guy is, but just bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they they recently poured, put him in one of the Mortal. They Kombat. did. They or just put they him in there. Him in, yeah, probably. yeah, they did. It's just like whenever you have someone like I feel like Patrick Stewart yeah. was made to be Xavier, right? But when you get back to like finding someone else to be Xavier, like you're always gonna be comparing him to Patrick Stewart. Yeah. No matter who you get to be. Him, yeah, right? but he has to be as good as Patrick Stewart. I, mean, I feel like James McAvoy is really good. Um, Personally, myself, I think he has a presence. He, he's he, not. He's not like a mannequin like this guy was. I mean, he's good for young. Sure. Right? Yeah. He's not like a fully realized. James movie. McAvoy is a motherfucker of an actor, man. Like yeah. Split. Oh my yeah. God. You know, like. It's like those. You know, this guy's like. This guy says you can take my soul. I just be like, all right. The, <laughs> you know, the other guy, I'm like, no. <laughs> the, the original Shang Tsung was like seven. Is it, he's like seventy years old. Yeah. Yeah. Now it might, it might be. Well, it's not like it's a physical part. He stood there with big hair. In this one. Yeah. Yeah. In this one. But yeah. what about like what if they're planning? But maybe he's retired. Um, you know, they could be planning a, a trilogy. You know, yeah. and like what if they're like. Getting people for ahead of time what they want, maybe. I don't know if they are, but they should have brought I'm back, not excited for it yet. <laughs> they should have brought back the actor who played Liu Kang to play Shang Tsung. That would be great. I mean, that would I, I'm not any comparisons yeah, at all. <laughs> I, I, get, I get what you mean. I'm, I'm definitely not like demanding you have to be, you know, because again, like there, there's a there's a good movie in here if it changes some stuff. If it had better editing, I would have liked the entire movie. I just really thought, like, I was really like against it when I saw what they were doing in that first fight. And it was a good fight. It was just sure. like it's the thing, like, of, the, like the way they were moving. It didn't even achieve anything. It's like when we watch a trailer. I think we watched the Shang Chi one. And we're like, man, I'm getting kind of an Eastern vibe. Hopefully, they do the edits and the fights that way. Because yeah. in a trailer, it's hard well, to tell what they do. Yeah, yeah. We watched the trailer breathe. for this, and we're like, I hope that the cuts are for, from the trailer, and not it's not going to be like this in the movie. Yep. Sure. Because like I think this movie would be, I think it would be much better if you had it where the fights just like you. you the first movie, there was enough plot to get to the fights, right? Yeah. The plot wasn't super yeah. crazy or anything or really in depth. It was just like, he Liu Kang's after Shang Tsung because mm-hmm. he killed his... And then Johnny Cage is trying yeah, to I mean, do it's, this. It's, it's like an Enter the Dragon. Yeah. yeah. It's just like, we're going to fight. Plot. All right, fight. You fight. All right, now you fight. Now you... I mean, you, know, you go from like having no fights yeah. to like, fight, 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 fight. Yeah, like, I, 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 you know, I think the guy that played Cole, like, I didn't really love Cole, like, at all, but I thought the guy was good. I just wish they would have given him a part that I would have liked, you know? I thought he was a really good performer. Uh, Liu Kang, I definitely judged him when I first saw him. I'm like, man, I think Liu Kang's a little small, you know? Dude, when he... <laughs> and then he took his... Yeah, like... He took his shirt he off. Had, he had more muscles than I've ever seen collectively in humanity. 
You know, he was so damn ripped. It was like seeing Bruce Lee come to life. Yeah, for yeah. me. In a way, you know, with those, like, where's, what's this? You know, Bruce Lee has those, like, he could jump off a building and survive muscles. Wings. <laughs> yeah. The wingsuit. He muscles. had that, man. Like, I was, a, I was like, I'm fucking wrong. Maybe I'll, maybe Shang Tsung's better. I don't know. Kept watching, but. No, I didn't have any real issues with Liu Kang. No, I liked I don't him. Think. And um, the arcane thing makes it more like, how's it do a fireball at the end of that first movie? It's like, shut the fuck up. You know? No one talks about that. It's just sure. cool. Yeah. Like, I think editing, Shang Tsung, I still feel like uh, Raiden, I don't know, I feel like there's a little bit missing there. I don't know what yeah. it is. I, it, I think it, what works well in, the in like the, especially the first movie, right? Like, mm -hmm. you see how strong he is. You see him protecting. Like, yeah. Sub-Zero yeah. and Scorpion, they come out, and they're going to attack his champions. That's, that's one and he thing. protects them. And then once they get to the place where he has no power... He's like, I can't protect you here, and I can't even go to that place. This know? one like, kind of makes it seem like he sacrificed Kung Lao for Cole to get his power. Because, like, he left, didn't really say why, we didn't know why, and then he's like, oh, yes, you gave my my fighter his power. I'm like, yeah, but you lost your... That, Kung Lao died after that. Is that happens after that? It, Kung it did happen after, okay. but, but, like, Cole, like, he had to have known <coughs> he was putting his family at risk by going back. That's why he left, Right. Like the first, uh, he's like, I, I'm, I'm putting you in danger by being here. Yeah. So he leaves, yeah. and then he just goes back. He's yeah, like, what is saying out here? Why he would Everybody. go back? Because this was hard. <laughs> it just didn't make any sense. And then, like, immediately, fucking Prince Goro shows up in your barn. You know, like you've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> that all worked out, but it did. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just didn't get it. But I, I definitely, in the first movie, I feel like Raiden was to be feared. I never really feared like if Raiden were to let loose on Earth. Yeah. I, I never really felt like because in the first movie like he, when they're on Earth and says and he says no mm -hmm. like the fighters and everybody they, they respect it because they, they can't Yeah when he shows up when, when they're about ready to fight here, with Scorpion and some he's enough! You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here he's like he just puts up a wall yeah. so that sure. so that they don't have a choice. Or like, when there's no like there's no threat. When they're you know? on the island and they're fighting, he's like, What are you gonna do about those guys? And then they go, Huh and he goes, uh, uh, Like uh, I, I just know? Know. and they yeah. all back up and then they just let him walk right walk away. And I understand that the the gods aren't allowed to interfere, but Raiden should be what happens when you cheat. And they were just blatantly cheating and, and they're like, I don't want to give a shit. Raiden should be able to then do something. Sure. And that's like, hey guys, we can't do this. Thunder God will kill us all. See, I thought they were going to be cheating, and then when they got to the temple, yeah. and he was there, I'm like, oh man, they're going to be cheating now. Yeah, because, like, yeah. oh, this is why the cast is going to wipe them out sure. if they and, try. And then they just showed up right there in his temple yeah. to and kill everybody. Just, yeah. And I'm like, and he just made a big egg. He harder. And they killed Kung Lao. Yeah, so I'm just like, who runs the, who runs the tournament? <laughs> Where like, are the oh, Elder Gods? We can't cheat. The Elder God is dead. So let's cheat. What? God is dead. I definitely believe Outworld should be cheating. Like that's just sure. Outworld, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're but, dirty and stuff. But yeah. I want to find them like cheating around the rules, mm -hmm. not just. I want them to find loopholes, like... not just cheat more blatantly. Yeah, if there are no rules, there is no cheating. Sure, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it like, seems like they were just doing what they could. At the end, Shang Sun is threatening. I'll bring an army next time. But like, he has to win more combat to do that, right? Or can he just bring an army? Thus, who gives a shit about more combat? Yeah, he should have to win it nine more times and then another one. If this counted as Mortal Kombat, which I'm not sure if it did. It didn't. It's not. Which, no tournaments. in Annihilation, they No, no one said it had to be It counts. It must count. Yeah. Because they were... I think it counts. They're assassinating the champions, and when your side has no champions to fight, then you, you're, you win, right? Or the other side of it is that they're killing off the champions so that they can collect all the people. I don't know. No like, one said it has begun. Go. It wasn't one. Well, <laughs> sure. Shang Tsung said, like, Mortal Kombat at some point, didn't he? When they were in Raiden's temple? I think he did. I thought he did. I don't know. I don't he think was, he did. He no. left such a little impression. I don't think anyone in the movie yelled Mortal Kombat. Now, I know it's super dated, but the soundtrack in this movie was a big disappointment. I feel like that carried 50% of the first movie. I mean... Agreed. I thought the music was good. Ser it serviceable. It just didn't... Like, they didn't have the Mortal Kombat theme, really. Well, but there's so many really good music from that first one. And it's all super dated, but... It just is really there like was, blaring techno, really gets your blood pumping. There was never a moment I felt like the music elevated anything. Yeah. It was there. 
There was one moment where I'm like, ooh, the music. Yeah, like, and I liked yes. what it was. It was whenever they were like in like the trailer hallway, and it was going for me. It was like, boom, boom. I'm like, oh, that's cool. But then it was immediately gone. Wasn't there also one, Rick, where you're like, oh, this sounds like a, a stage level? There were a couple times where you could hear some of the themes come in, but it was just for a second, yeah. and it was gone. Yeah. So. I feel like someone who plays a lot of Mortal Kombat would recognize more music. Maybe. And would be able to pick it out easier. But mm. I only picked out, like, once, maybe twice of hearing any Mortal Kombat music that I would recognize can't remember when the first time was but it was like three seconds of music that i recognized and then it just mm -hmm. went into like more like kind of mixed up technical. and they and the first movie didn't have any mortal Kombat music in it but it was just good good like uh it, it was elevated reptile and Liu kang fight is amazing but i can i, I mean the, the song is so important to that yeah i don't think you know? the soundtrack's going platinum like, and the best moment was when Scorpion shows up, the thing out of nowhere, and it, you know, you go over, and they're doing the which was exactly what we heard from the trailer. Yeah. In a moment that was exactly from the trailer, you know? And then the end, the end credits, when they're playing the remix version, it sounds like a electronic dance music version, like which EDM. I think that is really good EDM music, but... I feel like if you're going to do something, again, you should be just as good or better. I felt this way with the Lion King movie, right? I didn't think the Lion King movie was bad, this, the live action one. But I think if you're going to do it, you need to do it just as good or better. I kind of felt the same way about Aladdin. You know, like, if so I could do it on Lion King, sure. I loved Aladdin. The only yeah. thing I didn't like about I Aladdin, didn't hate was, Aladdin was Jafar was a little lesser than what he should have been. Yeah, but I loved know. Aladdin for the rest of the Like, time. I didn't hate Aladdin. I thought that, like, you know, Will Smith's genie was good and stuff like that. Aladdin, not so much. Jasmine, better, you know. But, the like, for me, the music wasn't as good, you know. And, and that's the same thing here. Like, there's, there's a lot of things that I think this one does well as a movie that that other one didn't have, you know, which is, like... You know, it feels like this is a real thing sometimes. And whereas the other one, I've always felt like more fantasy and more fun yeah. that way. But I feel like that's a benefit of the budget. Probably. Than it is. Yeah. But the music, like, yeah, it's just, you know, if you're going to spend money to get that, just fucking buy the license for the old song, <laughs> you know? People will go fucking crazy, guaranteed, as opposed to this new version, which maybe there's a fan of it that really, really loves it, thinks it's better, but that's not me. No. 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 Definitely not, not you. Definitely not me. <laughs> Maybe we start with the thing. No, they I didn't know. start with the title. <laughs> you know, but it was a very sobering, like, let's set the tone intro. Sure. I actually quite liked the intro. No. I mean, I was devastated when I saw that wife and child. Yeah. You know? I, mean, I, I, was, I was personally like, this is, this is terrible. I liked it, but I didn't feel like it carried that tone. It didn't carry what tone? That it was terrible? No, no, no. Like, I like that opening scene. Yeah. And I like that tone, but I feel like the rest of the movie didn't really carry that tone very much. Like, there was a lot of, like, man, they spelled combat wrong in Mortal Kombat. Sure. Like, it just did, it, like, those sort of references and things and him, like, saying fatalities, holding the heart, yeah. just doesn't mesh with that. Like, do it one way or the other. I get what you mean. I definitely get what you mean. He's I'm just meaning it just in terms of, the, of an intro. It was uh, the opposite of what I wanted, but I liked the intro. Some of the other stuff I didn't quite love. I think there's a lot of, they spelled Mortal Kombat wrong. I think the... There's a lot of Kano, Eric. I think... I, I do. I, yeah, and I think that's his character, right? Yeah. I think that's who he is, and I think that True. works for him. I think there's him, like he didn't say fatality. He said Kano wins, and he is Kano so wins. egotistical yeah. of himself yeah. that I think it's fine that he says that. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, Sonya Blade wouldn't say that, or Jax wouldn't say that, or Luke Kane wouldn't say that, you know? Like, that's just that, that character and stuff. Yeah. But I think the... I think the groundedness of it, for the most part, is pretty much there, and that's from the beginning of it. Right? I mean, I don't know. Like, the whole Arcana thing isn't grounded. It, it has rules. It has, like, reasonings. It has a lineage almost, too, because you can kill someone and pass it down, or supposedly it can be a birth trait, too, maybe. I mean, I kind of... You know, like, I, I recognize it's probably not a Mortal Kombat thing. It's new for this movie, but I kind of like the concept, because theoretically, you are killing people to, to have superpowers. 
No, yeah, and it makes it Mortal Kombat. Like it, it puts a target on your back. Like you're a champion, but if I can fight you and defeat you, then I can become champion because I've beaten you. Yeah. Right. Like that's what a champion is, and it actually it works well in the, in the idea of like what is Mortal Kombat. It's yeah. two people fighting, and when this mortal <coughs> dies in combat, mm-hmm. the, this person then uh, inherits those. It's also that, like a trait. It's like a game of the op- like, like an opposite game of hot potato, which is like make sure you have this before the tournament starts. That just didn't really factor in because they didn't bother to do a tournament. It's kind of like a mix between Highlander and Mega Man. Almost. Yeah. Kind of. Like, they, they get their own power. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they get their own. Like, Sonya Blade didn't get a laser, but she got, like, her her pink things that she shoots, you know? Yeah. Like, her, she didn't have her... Her, like, sonic her, energy or whatever it is. Yeah. Because she has those in the game, too. Okay. But, I, she, like, her, her kiss thing, like, she has that, too. There's also a fatality within that, but, like, they didn't use that one here. It was also it was already used in, like... Annihilation, you know? Is it weird that Jax's Arcana was more technology more, more technology in his arms? I don't think it's any weirder than the laser eye, but I think they're both weird. Like, it's like not a laser like a eye. The laser eye could be magical, whereas metal arms is I, transformed. I think it builds on the person. Yeah. I don't know Sonya Blade yet, right? Sure. Kano wanted to know mean. how to shoot. Can I shoot lasers? Can I shoot guns? What can I yeah. shoot? Can I do that? And he gets to shoot lasers. Mm-hmm. It stems from him and his personality and what he's wanting, right? Yeah. Um, Liu Kang might be building from an inner fire. Mm-hmm. Kung Lao is really good with his damn hat. Yep. That's probably something from his ancestors. Makes some sense. Shit, you know? Yep. Uh, Jax, Roll over that one. Jax, Ninja. in the moment when he got his arcana, yeah. needed his arms to work. True. Sure. Right? He was trying. He needed more strength. He needed more power to save Sonya. And yeah. I think the same thing can kind of be said with Cole, where, like, mm-hmm. he has been taking a beating all his life. Yep. And if he could take that energy mm-hmm. and be able to push it back out, that's what he would want to do. And that's kind of the way his power manifests is by yeah. the, the beating Which of it. I, I think it works for the characters as to why each one has what they have. I don't necessarily know all of them, but I think that's the idea they're going for. Well, yeah. I think it kind of works... Like, maybe Jax was a blacksmith or something, but, like, why metal? Like, his arms could be anything. Because he already has metal, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he currently has metal arms from the people that were trying to better him and fix him and make him yeah. work, you know? So in that moment, he needed those to be more. He needed them to be bigger, stronger, better, and that's what his arcana manifested. It could be crazy if, like, the arcana man- manifested and, then like, those fell off and he, like, grew, like... Hey, just normal <laughs> arms? Well, no, I wanted to be no- abnormal. Like oh, tentacle. They gotta be some yeah, 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 you gotta be something some crazy. Octopus arms? Yeah. Or just fire arms. Oh no, I had squid for lunch. No! You know, yeah, right? That <laughs> so. I uh I don't know why, like, when Cole's power first manifested as the armor, how it was like glowing every time he took damage and mm-hmm. took a hit and stuff. I don't know why that stopped mm. through the rest of his fights. Um I mean, he was just it? not getting frozen during the Sub Zero fight. Yeah, he wasn't like absorbing anything, but like everybody else, that would, that would happen, and they start getting all fucked up. You know, he would just nothing would happen to him. Wasn't it still happening during Melina? It was. It, it, it didn't stop happening until the Sub Zero fight. Yeah, but yeah, I'm not really sure why it stopped during the Sub Zero fight. I just assume just Sub Zero's energy is different. Well, it, most of the hits he was taking, I'd have to watch it again, but I feel like. The times that it's not really doing anything wasn't like Sub Zero was punching him. Yeah. He was like sh- freezing him and stuff too, you know? And maybe there's just a difference there. Maybe but threw him all over the place. I don't know. I'd have to yeah. rewatch it and stuff too. Know. Maybe it's also one of those things too is like once you've established that that's what it does, you don't necessarily need to show it every single time it does. Maybe it's one of those things too. Maybe. I don't know. Because show it every that. time that Black Panther gets punched, his suit goes yeah. all purple. It was very Black Panther, just not as cool looking and. Not as utilitarian. No vibranium and the sword his things claws. were cool, like the baton and the and the blade. He had like yeah. a, I don't know, what was it, like a tomfa or something? Yeah. And then he had like a, whatever the other one was. <laughs> kind of wish they would have maybe set up that he's like really good with that type of weapon or something in the beginning, so that like, oh, that makes sense. That he can like, is he like Green Lantern? Can he make anything? Or no, I can. I have plot armor and I can make these two things. You know, like is it that? Sure. Like or a, like have or Scorpion he, he, use that yeah. in the old fight. Like yeah. Go, yeah, it would have been like funny if he like made like a wrench out of his army because he used down. a wrench earlier, you know? With the mark. But no, I get you too. Like, those just kind of showed up. Is it, did he choose those? Is that just what his armor made? Is there yeah, like Yeah, because he a, like, they appeared and he looked down at them like, huh, okay, I guess I have to use these now. Now, he didn't even really train with those style weapons when he was fighting against Liu Kang or anything, did he? Mm-hmm. No, I was saying it's like no, they... setting up a reasoning why those are yeah. showing up would be good. I thought it was just going to be like, well, he they they set up like you, you're you 
you're good at punching, but you suck at defense. So his arcane is like, all right, I'm in it for the hole. But then also, I got these things, you know? And he's like, why? Shut up! <laughs> you know? And then he's yeah, I need something to stab. Sure. I don't know. I get you. It's almost like having another, like, like having another Jax, because he has, like, these metal army kind of things mm -hmm. happening and stuff on him. But then he has more on his chest. I don't know. It just I guess it kind of just shocks me that with your giant roster of Mortal Kombat, like, why bother with a new character? Like an original yeah. character for the movie? I mean, yeah, don't go Liu Kang as your main character, you know, but sure. I don't see why you couldn't, like, have him be the next Scorpion. I mean, yeah. maybe Cole is the new main character in the new game that they're planning. Like, like maybe it's going to go that way. Maybe they're trying to... It's, play it's not it. trickling down to here. It's going up to that kind of Maybe. thing. I don't know. I don't is know. the game the higher order in the canon? Like I said, it's one of the things... Yeah, uh, yeah. It's one of the things I was worried about of, like, Resident Evil has a, quite a few characters, some really cool stuff and whatnot story-wise that they do, but they brought in, in the movies, a whole new character that wasn't in the games, and we follow and see her, like, yeah. what she does. Sure. And then she runs across these other characters and stuff. So it's like... I guess I guess the idea is that you have like, this is the vessel for the audience because he knows nothing. He's you're learning yeah. along with Cole, but yeah, you I mean, could Johnny also Cage knows nothing either. You could also do the same thing with most of the other characters if yeah. you really wanted to. You could have been journeying with Sonya Blade finding it, but it's like who do you who's your main character out of all these characters? You know, like sure. out of all the Mortal Kombat characters, who do you want to be your main character? And it's like, well, let's not make one a main character. Let's make a new guy. That's our main character. Who you can then see all these other people. Piece of shit. If, if, like Johnny Cage was, like driving a sports car through Hollywood, accidentally ran somebody over, and then the next day he wakes up and's like, "Oh, what's this mark on my arm?" And accidentally <laughs> killed one of the champions. I was wondering where the hell you were going. <laughs> well, what is? Yeah, you know what? That's a, really, that's a great fucking point. What's the limit of killing a champion? Like, if you accidentally remove your car, do you become a champion? And then like it's like you know. Or is it Christine? He's like a 45 year old, 45 year old, 300 pound guy. Yeah. Now has to be, he's running from Sub Zero. Ah, you know, just because of an accident. I want to see that movie. Maybe. I don't know. Like but if you're the guy in the bomber and you push the release button for the bomb and it yeah. blows someone up, do you huh. just get that? Yeah, you're right. Huh. I mean, it's using a weapon to kill someone. Like if way, you like, have a, a you sickness, know? a virus, and you give that to someone else and they die because of it, do you get it, or does the guy that gave you the virus get it? And what happened to Kung Lao's? Like, I assume Shang Tsung didn't get it, right? I assume he, just, he probably just still in his soul. Maybe he just he takes it. He didn't die. Maybe that's why he has his people. I don't know. Maybe it just goes... There's, there's some rules with the markings that I'm curious about. I'm not sure. Ooh, maybe, maybe if you kill one of Earth's champions, then you get to use the mark to travel back to Earth at will. Maybe, maybe it's like maybe. time... I think it'd be cool yeah. if you get to choose who it goes to, and then you just go get some asshole and kill him in Mortal Kombat. Huh? That seems weird. Like you, like let's say Shang Tsung takes the soul. Now he has that marking. Then he can go give it to like. He gives it to Malibu. Yeah. He turns into Matara. <laughs> that, or he gives it to like you know, like an eighty-year-old man in a wheelchair, and then just beats him at Mortal Kombat, and they're like, all right. <laughs> you know? yeah, I'm the champion. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> uh, um, I was gonna say though, uh, on the coal subject that we were on, yeah, the uh, having him be a vessel to see these other characters too allows you to meet people and not have like if we met Nightwolf or whoever like they can already be established in who they are without yeah. us having to like well that's who our vessel's going to be that we follow through so mm -hmm. maybe that's part of the thing like they didn't want it to be Liu Kang because when you meet Liu Kang he already knows what's going on yeah. you don't have to have the doubt meth method that you did because mm -hmm. Liu Kang was like our main person in the first game or yeah. the first movie you know sure like he had the doubt. He had to be convinced of it, and you got to see him build up and overcome whatever. Whereas, like, Liu Kang here is already, like, he came in and was like, look, I'll show you guys what we're doing, and I'll help train you and all you, that. You don't if, want Johnny that's, Cage because he's an asshole. Maybe. I mean, have it be Sonya. Have Sandy be your main character. She's already obsessed with trying to figure all this stuff out, and then she gets to learn it all. Like, that, that's your vessel for an audience. Maybe. And it, you could do that as well. Possibly. And have some fucking like, balls just, and have Sonya be your main character. It's just a matter of finding, Ooh. like... Yeah. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Like, have have it be about Sonya and Jax. And yeah. They're the main characters and stuff, too, you know? Like, that's who you're... But, but with that, then, yeah. do you need to start back even further? Mm-hmm. So like that the because, where they don't know what's going on, yeah. because the reason they don't is they have Cole who comes yeah. in and then Sonya explains, "Here's all the shit we learned already." Yeah, you know? I mean, like that's that's the thing. Like, obviously, you, you have to drastically change your movie. How do you want you it yeah. to be explained and learned, and do you want to learn with them, or do you want them to tell someone else it? Or I mean, what? you could have the first. 
eight minute segment before the title scene be that instead of mm -hmm. the the scorpion origin i also really feel like it's important to reiterate at least for me that i thought the actor that played cole did a damn good job in his no, performance yeah. No, like, no, I don't no. want, like, you know, let's say he ever watches this and say, like, well, fuck you guys, you know? I think I thought it was a disservice not to use him for a character I cared more about, because I thought he performed very well. Like, even the, the fight at the beginning in the octagon, like, that was just, you could tell, this guy has put a lot of work into training, into all this. I thought his acting was serviceable, he just didn't really have a whole lot to do, you know, uh, in that regard. But, like, I really liked that guy, why not really caring about Cole too much, other than the fact that he's a descendant of Scorpion, who I like. Sure. No, I just, like I said, I think all the actors and characters and stuff, for me, I yeah. think are good. I like like I like pretty much all of them. It's yeah. just Shang Tsung, for me, doesn't do a whole lot. Yeah. And then uh, I, I think Raiden could have been better. I, I think there's just, he, he, it wasn't that he was, like, bad. He just, if he had, felt, like, a major fight scene, I would have been like, oh, I get it now. I felt like there was, like, a lack of maybe his presence yeah. or just there was a lack there like I love when he first showed up yeah. and I'm like oh shit man it's, look it's Raiden Raiden but then like I didn't feel like kind of what Kyle was talking about like the, the intimidation from him or yeah. the threats from him like, I don't think he, so yeah like yeah. he didn't yeah. feel like oh I gotta worry about him yeah. whereas like Shang Tsung also didn't feel like that either. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, well, I can just fight him then you know like yeah. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is but I mean, maybe they just watched Annihilation because Raiden didn't do a whole lot in that one he yeah, but he three did. Reptiles. He fought he reptile. Um, you know, like at he least, he, at least. I'm sorry. He had Ray that. Park fought three reptiles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> at the very least, he had that. Like Raiden yeah. Park. But before that, like you're using the previous one who came in and he he knocked Sub Zero and Scorpion with his power back against the walls and stuff. And you're like, yeah, oh yeah. shit, look how well, strong he is. And then and like there's like a hundred dudes that are going to come and attack them. And he this just shows up and. Yeah, and, and they terrified. and they don't like it's yeah. just like and you can at least tell that from from the perspective of those goons mm -hmm. that he's a tough guy and a god he is a thunder god and you don't want to mess with him yeah. Yeah. whereas this guy was kind of like shield let's run away to the white void you know yeah they they were literally trapped in their castle like as if it were a siege yeah so if it wasn't for I mean it's exactly what Raiden does in that first minute you're right like Shang's son is like oh it's Raiden. But he, he, like, obviously, Raiden could beat my ass if he wanted to, but he can't because I'm following the rules. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's Up until he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Raiden's But no, he still follows but his rules. He can challenge anyone he wants to. Sure, but when he's trying to do that shady stuff, uh -huh. he also takes him to a realm that he knows Raiden can't go to. He does. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, like, there's, there's some things where, like, even Shang Tsung feels like, oh, I can't, you know, I can't piss off Lord Raiden yeah. because that's a tough Yeah, in that bitch, movie, you know? like, Raiden is the older brother and Shang Tsung's the other the younger brother picking at him while the parents are around. Yeah. Sure. So, like, I just, I didn't get to feel that. And maybe that's because of Shang Tsung. Yeah. Like, maybe that you need to push him up a little bit more, maybe have him be, but he didn't seem to be afraid of anybody, but he had, like, no real personality or anything either. Yeah. So, but Shang Tsung was my least favorite character of the show. Raiden was probably my second. Everyone else, yeah. I feel like, did a pr really good job with, like, in who this, they were. In this, Raiden's a four out of five, and then, you know, Mortal Kombat 1, that Raiden for me is, like, an eight out of ten. And then Harry's like a six out of ten, but a four out of five is an eight out of ten. I, I'm sorry, I meant uh, four out of ten is okay. this one. <laughs> and then the first one, Christopher was an, he's an eight out of ten for me. And then Harry is a six out of ten. Uh, this guy's a four out of ten. Shang Tsung, the first movie, 1995, is literally a ten out of ten for me. He's and great. This guy is probably one or two out of ten. I mean, I'll give him two just because he he looks like he could be Shang Tsung. You know, I guess I don't know. Maybe. I mean, he's not like, you know, it's not like a fat guy, like, with a beer belly and, like, you know, bald, you know, so. That's both. I can't get, that'd be a one. Puking <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Oh, man. No, yeah, I just wish they would have done more with Shang Tsung. And I think that might have elevated everything as a whole, too. Yeah. Yeah. Some like, zero carried the movie for the villains. He was like, so good. You need, you need your characters and plot to be really good. Yeah. Or you can have that be a little lesser. Yeah. And have the fighting be what stands yeah. out, you know? Yeah, the fights are amazing. Um, the good, other agree. stuff matters far less. Yeah. I feel like the characters are much better than the choreography for the most part in mm -hmm. most fights. Um, Except for the first and the second. I love those fights. It's just they should have edited, been edited together better. Yeah. And or not. Like, by the time this movie came out, they had already shown one of the best parts of the trailer. Yep. And they already shown the entire beginning seven minutes by yeah. releasing it like a day or two early. Yeah. Damn. Which is so weird. Like, some people were like, by the way, you guys should react to the first seven minutes. And it's like, we're going to react to the movie. Why we should have reacted to the trailer. 
Yeah, we really should. That's why I'm yeah, like, yeah, we shouldn't have done. This is the reason why so many times I'm like, I don't want to react. To so it. it had the fighting with the goons, but it probably didn't have the fighting with actually with actual Sub Zero. Sub Zero, it probably. Didn't. I assume. Yeah, that's about eight and a half. Okay. Like they yeah. showed like the first seven minutes. Gotcha. So it probably okay. didn't have that element there. Okay. Like if I was cutting it, I would have cut it when that knife went to that tree. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I get what you mean. Oh. So <laughs> it's just there's just that aspect of like these two were great. Yeah, just when <laughs> when. Trailers come out. I'm always so hesitant of wanting to watch them because not everyone goes with. They go with the idea of like we need to sell people watching this movie, not we want to sell people watching this movie, but also not give a ton away. So there's some fun stuff. Like it really depends on how they're making their trailers. Honestly, Warner Brothers does that. It might be like it might be Warner Brothers that does it the most, and anybody any other thing that does it. So maybe we'll have to be careful. Of, Warner of Brothers. giving away things in their trailers and stuff. Yeah. I think so. I think I think most of Disney stuff's usually pretty good. Yeah. I think they can keep some secrets. I mean, mm -hmm. fucking no one knew about No Baby Yoda. Yeah, you know no. what I mean? Fuck No Baby. And that's not even having toys. Yeah. Because that's how you do that. Yeah, they've lost millions. <laughs> yeah. So that they can keep that. a damn secret and about I Little Baby Yoda. I respect that shit, you know? And, like, that's good. In this here, like, you could have had some of your bigger moments that were hyped that I think would have stood out to us. Like, that moment there with Scorpion, and dun, 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 dun. Had it been a build up through the whole movie, like, man, they didn't use that fucking song once in this whole movie. And you get to that, like, oh, shit. And I feel like I would have elevated it a little bit. But because we already saw that, we're like, oh, shit, I can't wait. And then, yeah, but imagine watching it lost here it. tonight. I'm going to go home and look up Scorpion entrance moment, but with the good song. And it's going to be a million times better. <laughs> and, it's, and then, then Scorpion and Sub-Zero fight to the dun, 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 dun. They, they might do that. Well, yeah, because I watched this Mortal Kombat 10 or 11 like cut scene where they had, who was it? It was Raiden versus Scorpion. And I watched the, the cut scene. It was good. I watched the whole thing. It was like a whole fight. Very, very cool. And then right under it was same exact thing, but with Mortal Kombat song from '95. Clicked that, watched it all again, <laughs> and it was so much better. <laughs> it's just that nostalgia hitting you yeah. and stuff too. And, and no, then, I, I mean, if you, you had to have seen my reactions to the first two. The bias is off the charts. You sure, know, sure. Like this is obviously a better movie than Annihilation, hundred percent, by a million points. But it's not. It, like it doesn't hold up to my nostalgia feelings of what I just watched the '95 first one. You know, I just like things they did there better. Sure. It had Mortal Kombat in it, which was nice. And but I want to say, like, I thought these two, Sub Zero and Scorpion, the casting for them, they were pretty fucking cool. Like I felt like Sub Zero when he's coming down that street and he's throwing fucking blizzards yeah. and shit. Just that was ice really cool. And stuff. He I had like great face, great eyes. I like when he walked back in from the alley and they, everything oh, went. Yeah. That like part was fucking again. sweet. That's so really cool. Fucking cool. Ooh, yeah. Cool. It was very cool. So, like, I'm not I just ragging the movie. too. Yeah. It might have been. I, I think they know. had just a whole bunch of smoke there, and then on the other side of the building, the they giant had a door back. with a giant fan, <laughs> yeah. and they just sucked all the air yeah. through the building. It was really fucking cool. I like those parts. I like I think that. that there's a foundation for something here, you know? It's just, you know... If you get actors of that caliber to do your fights, trust them to have energy in the in the. I mean, it can be it can it can definitely be harder to film, you know. And some of the stuff you have to do, Cuddy, so that you, you're not putting people in danger, and then you have visual effects. But they were in this first fight in this first eight minutes or whatever. There are cuts in there that literally do nothing but suck out energy. Sure. And it's not like it's cutting because this angle is better or anything. These these guys know what they're doing, you know. Yeah. These guys train their entire lives to do this stuff. Just turn the camera on and walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, you've done your job. You do that. Yeah. It's like, I think Aaron was telling us about an interview that uh, Jackie had had with somebody. How about, like, you know, you have, like, three quick hits, and then yeah. at the end of a cut, you do, like, a big hit. Yeah. And it makes it feel, like, a lot more forceful. This yeah. one, they all felt like jabs. Sure. Because they're were, they were really, yeah. like... Exactly. Yeah, when, when when Jackie yeah, cuts, yeah. when Jackie cuts, it's the period no or the explanation point at the end of a sentence. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I get what you mean. And then he does a paragraph in a fight, and that's how he cuts everything. Like, yeah. and they're editing as they're doing the choreography. Like they'll do, and then this move, then this move, then this move. We cut, go back here. This is the shot. They have the cinematographer there for three months. You're choreographing you know? the camera and yeah. the cuts with the choreography itself to yeah. plan out to make sure it looks good and it feels like it has energy. And, yeah. and this one in. was you're they, taking you're taking the breath out of yeah. the fight entirely. Yeah. This one for 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 you know the Scorpion Sub Zero fights, yes, but even for all the fights, you could tell they put in their work to learn these things. There's a lot of good performances, but they got coverage and put it together in the editing room. 
It's like, all right, do mids, do, do mediums, do that. Visual effects, supervisor will take care of that. Yeah. No, you know? I mean, some of it's just like they don't want to... I imagine sometimes they don't want to do the work of the camera stuff to get that know. stuff set up and done. You know, you're not yeah. choreographing with your camera and stuff. They might have just tossed in like, okay, here's we got four cameras rolling. Do your fight. And they yep. just film four angles. Like, all right, we'll put it together, fix it later. You know, and you know, like moving on. A- after coming after stuff like the raid or like you know, John Wick. You know, like it should be. I just watched Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah, how was it, dude? The fights were awesome. Oh, what was the story like? Can't remember. The fights were so good. Yeah, that's what. That's sure. the feeling you need to have. And sure, I didn't have that here. Well, I feel like the fights are so good. They used some damn fatalities that were crazy and blew my mind. I couldn't yep. believe they did them. Yep. And then it ended. I think it's gonna be another one. I can't wait. Sure. You know, like yeah. they're gonna yeah. come back to fight again. We're gonna fight them again. <laughs> you know, like yeah, let's you do guys it. haven't seen it, but the fights were better in jujitsu. Oh wow! Okay. Mainly yeah. because of the editing. Yeah, but I feel I feel like a lot of the reason why I don't feel great about the end of this movie is I feel like the entire point of the movie was to set up the next movie. Sure. Rather than resolve this one. I can kind of get that. I, I think that's part of why I'm like looking forward to an idea of a second one. Because I feel like the next one could be much better than this one. I, 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 I'm only just... laughing because the first Mortal Kombat movie did that so hard. Yeah. Perfect fool that come for your souls. <laughs> you know, and then it's immediately, <laughs> next movie, you know. But I get your point, yeah. you know. It's because that earned that moment. When all those kids are running around with the blue flags, I'm like, yes, we did something, you know? And here, like, well, Shang Tsung's like, I'll be back. You want to see me? I'm like, no. He's like, too bad. It, it's, because, <laughs> it's because the movie cut after, yeah. like, they beat the big bad guy sure. from that movie. Yeah. Now imagine this movie, if they had cut when... No, imagine, imagine Mortal Kombat 95 yep. if they had cut before Liu Kang had beaten Shang Tsung. Oh. That's what this movie made me mm. feel like. Hmm. Gotcha. Like if they cut before, like, all right, we've got to go to Outworld. Yeah, let's go do it. Do, do, do. Yeah, start yeah. credits. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was the line that uh, Cole said to uh, Raiden? He was talking about, I thought you couldn't I- interact or something or another. Like, what interfere. was that about? Did he, did he bring Scorpion here, or what was that about? What did he interfere with? What did he do? I- I think it was just like a, oh, haha, you made this thing happen because you gave this to me. Because he gave him the dagger? Yeah. That was his interfering? Was He grabbed the dagger from him and then he yeah, gave it to not, Cole later on? Not the uh, the teleportation of everyone to different stages in combat. It was the dagger. Unless, like, he didn't teleport Scorpion here, right? Well, that's what I was wondering. Like, no, what, he, like, summoned him with his fire. Yeah. Well, yeah, with his blood, I think, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. That's what it felt like. Yeah, but he used I, the blood I to just, summon... I wasn't 100 percent certain why Cole said I thought you weren't allowed to interfere, and I wasn't like, "What the hell did he interfere with?" Yeah, I, it might be because he gave him the dagger. I, I mean, I guess maybe but that's he what interfered I by keeping him alive. Like he he took him from that house where he probably would have died from neglect. He should have fried every one of those fuckers that were breaking the rules. Or not him. That's what Raiden should have done. That was a great yeah. movie. In an hour early, but yeah, I would have watched that. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. No, no. I had some fun watching the movie. Yeah. You know? I did too. I didn't like... I don't hate this movie. Yeah. I don't hate I, the movie. I wanted it I wanted it to be better, and I wanted to supersede yeah. my love of the first movie, which that, is yeah. probably an impossible task, because, it's definitely because I was bias. how old, and I love that movie, yeah. and this one here is like... It's not going to be any of the same actors or anything, but I'm just looking for like... I want it to be good, yep. and I feel like it's... I feel like the fights, if the fights would have just been pushed up, I think it would have been good for me. I think I would have been happy with that. It would have been a serviceable story. The characters would have been good enough. And then just like, fucking, they put all this together for these damn fights, and look at these fights. Like, I want to see Scorpion and Sub-Zero fight because fucking Rick always plays Scorpion, I always play Sub-Zero. It was so much fun, I want to see that, you know? But, like, instead they cut a whole lot and change things up, and it's just... I mean, it's my own damn fault for being so excited. I'm so disappointed. I just didn't like it hardly at all. Calvin, how do you feel? Um, Being the shortest Mortal Kombat fan in terms of time. I'm the tallest of us. No, I mean time. He, oh, he, okay. he said time. <laughs> <laughs> on this um, earth. I would say, because I can't draw on my knowledge of the games, uh, I, I don't know. The, whole, the, the movie as a whole was probably like a 4 out of 10 for me. Like, it's just kind of average. Um, I, I really liked 
most of the actors and their performances. Um, the characters, some of the characters I, I think could have used a, a little bit more work, like Cole. Um, mm -hmm. I really strongly agree. Don Sun didn't do it for me at all. Yeah. I felt no threat from him or Raiden, and I feel like those were like the pillars of the first movies as far as like, no, this is real shit. It's serious. The world could end. This guy is involved. Mm -hmm. That's how serious it is. It's yeah. like an, an Avengers level threat. Yeah. They bring in the, the God of Lightning, and I didn't feel the God of Lightning. I agree. Just because he's got a thunder. I would say wow. that the biggest ball, oh. literally, the biggest ball dropped was that they had to tr travel all throughout the world and didn't use the Velosphere. The Velosphere? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the reaction from Mortal Kombat. If you guys want to see more, we do have the other Mortal Kombat here watch those. on this channel. And we have more uh, movies that we react to every week, including our four early action films over on Patreon.com. That's fine with you. find links in the description below. So subscribe and uh, maybe check out the polls on Patreon to vote for future movies.